figured I have not done a proper introduction video. Piggy on the left, that is Chiquita. She will be three years old this fall. She came from a breeder who was retiring and they wanted to be sure she went to a good home so I took her in and she has a glorious coat. You can show it off. She's very mild-mannered. Gets along with everybody. That's Pimento. He was born here. He's a neutered boy. He will also he will be three is it August eleventh? Is it August? I think yeah, August eleventh. In the judgmental eyes over here. It's Hematine. She will be seven this June. Um I got her mother a very long time ago. I knew she was, you could tell this one guinea pig was different than all the rest. And it was a girl, and she's an interior decorator. Uh, her mom was the only female in a cage full of males at a big chain pet store. So I brought her home knowing she was gonna be pregnant. And what do you know, that's Hamilton. Say so she's got lipomas. She had back-to-back -back, uh, pregnancies because she was actually misdiagnosed as a male by a very trusted vet. But that also made me look into being able to ID them better and not always trust a vet, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. And she's still here. And she also had pneumonia three years ago. And she actually has scar tissue in her lungs so she doesn't have full use of her lungs if you ever see her breathing heavy in a video that's just how she breathes now yes it is miss ma'am and that's chiquita she doesn't know what's going on because her her husband immediately left her let me go and that's that page is this popo oh he oh of course he wants to be shy popo you don't know. He will be three years old. He used to be kept in a hamster cage for the first 18 months of his life and was not given a proper diet at all. But, well, that all changed when it came here and we love him. There's Mr. Waldorf. His owners could no longer care for him and his buddy, uh, and they were going to have to turn him into a shelter. And well, he's six and a half to seven, and that was just no place for a senior guinea pig. So I adopted him, and they can live out their retirement here. That's Waldorf. And Statler is hiding over there. This is Miss Topeka. Topeka, it looks like the hay is poking you directly in the eye. That's Topeka. She'll be four this she'll be fourth in August. Here's Lilith. Goodbye, Lilith. She'll be four this May. She was free from a pet store because nobody wanted her due to the color of her eyes and they could not sell her. So I was able to adopt her for one dollar. They gave her to me. This is Pila. She'll also be four this summer. And the, she is the reason I got Lilith for a dollar. She would not stop sneezing at the pet store. So they had her in the back trying to cure things. And it just, nothing was helping her. Turns out, Miss Delicate here is allergic to, they believe, dust. And the bedding they were using was very dusty. And she would not stop sneezing. So we have to keep our cages very clean. She will start sneezing again if things get too dirty. And that's Pila. And back there, she's going to run as soon as I do this. Hey, oh my goodness. That is Mama Cup. She came in with her baby. They were being used. She was actually being used to breed at a pet store. So, yeah, she's had a rough life. Back-to-back -back pregnancies. And see, she's she's always laying down. She's tired all the time. And I think, I only think she's probably two to three years old. But all those back-to-back -back pregnancies 
you know, they take their toll. That's Noki. He's also a neutered male. That is Pimento's brother. And he's kind of a spazoid. Yes, you are. This is Bob. Hey, little Bob. Very nosy. Wants to help and inspect everything we are doing. What is on your face? What's on your face? What is that? See, so Chiquita's her mama. We got booty baths and haircuts today. And she just turned two. Oh my goodness, yes. If only there was an easier way to go through that. But that is Bob. There's Topeka again. Let's find some more. And that's Miss Poppy. She'll be three this summer. That is Noki and Pimento's sister. Hi, Pop. She actually comes when she's called. And here, I'll show you. Okay, there's Pop. Hey, Pop. 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 Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. See? Oh, my goodness. That will get her to come every time. Ain't that right? I know my name, and I come when I'm called. Because I'm a good piggy. And you're very sweet. And this is Athena. That is Bob. That's her sister. So that's also Chiquita's daughter. She's very sweet, but very dramatic. You go to cut, even just cut her hair, and she screams bloody murder. Just cutting. Yep, she also got a haircut today. And this is Miss Fortuna. She'll be three, I think, this year. And she was actually living outside for the first two years of her life. Just straight up living outside. So as you can imagine, she's got some issues and she's actually finally just now getting tame. But it's all good. There's no rush here. And then this little one. This is Baby Cakes. Born September 29th, 2023. That's Mama Cup's daughter. Her nickname is Criminal because, oh, she commits crimes. The tiniest little crimes. But it's okay. Even though she looks more like Pila. No relation. Gonna go commit more crimes. Yes, you are. See, that's my herd. We love all of them. They all have different personalities. Ain't that right, Pop? I'm gonna climb to the top of this hay pile, so you can size reference. Criminal. We love them all, and they have a forever home here. Except Baby Cakes, who is technically up for adoption, but not until the right home comes across. Ain't that right, Mama? Mama Cup. Thank you for watching. Pop. 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 Hey, Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. There you go. Good girl.